For centuries, we believed in a universe that ticked along like a clockwork mechanism, predictable and absolute. Then came quantum mechanics, turning our neat and tidy assumptions upside down. Imagine a world where simply looking at something changes it. That's the essence of the observer effect in the quantum realm, the very act of observation influencing the state of what's being observed. Think of trying to pinpoint the position of a tiny, fast-moving particle. It's like trying to take a picture of a hummingbird in flight. The flash from your camera might illuminate the hummingbird, but it can also slightly change its direction. Similarly, in the quantum world, the tools we use to see particles can alter their properties making it seem like reality is a moving target. This inherent fuzziness at the heart of reality has puzzled scientists and philosophers for decades. How can we claim to understand something if the act of investigating it fundamentally alters what we're studying? Google's groundbreaking work in quantum measurement offers a tantalizing glimpse into this enigmatic world, pushing the boundaries of what we thought was possible and challenging our very definition of reality. In the world of science, breakthroughs often arrive not with a bang, but with a whisper. Such is the case with Google's recent quantum achievement. Their team of brilliant minds working at the cutting edge of quantum technology has developed a quantum processor capable of feats previously thought impossible. Imagine a camera that not only captures an image but also understands its essence, its very nature. This is the power Google has begun to unlock. Their processor, a marvel of modern engineering, doesn't just observe quantum phenomena, it interacts with them in ways that blur the line between observer and observed. This isn't just about building a faster computer, it's about fundamentally changing how we interact with the building blocks of reality. It's about asking not just what is real, but can we shape reality through observation? This isn't science fiction, it's happening now, right here on Earth. And its implications are as profound as the discovery of the atom, or the unraveling of the human genome. Google's breakthrough opens a new chapter in our understanding of the universe, a chapter where the observer is no longer a passive bystander but an active participant in the quantum dance. But how does this revolutionary processor actually work? The answer lies in the strange and wonderful world of superconductivity and entanglement. Imagine electrical currents flowing with absolutely zero resistance, like a river flowing uphill. That's superconductivity, and it's the foundation upon which Google's processor is built. These superconducting circuits, chilled to temperatures colder than the vacuum of space, create an environment where the bizarre rules of quantum mechanics reign supreme. But the real magic happens with entanglement. Think of two particles, light years apart, linked in a way that defies our everyday intuition. Change the state of one, and the other changes instantaneously, as if connected by an invisible thread. Google's processor harnesses this spooky action at a distance, using entangled probes to gently tickle the quantum system being observed. These probes, themselves governed by quantum rules, act as delicate sensors, gathering information without disrupting the fragile quantum state. It's like listening to a whisper in a hurricane, requiring incredible precision and sensitivity. The result of this delicate dance between superconducting circuits and entangled probes is nothing short of astounding. For the first time we can observe quantum systems in real time, not as blurry snapshots, but as dynamic evolving entities. It's like watching a movie instead of looking at a single frame. Imagine being able to track the precise movements of electrons within an atom, or witness the birth and death of virtual particles in the quantum foam. This is the level of clarity Google's processor promises. This newfound ability to observe the quantum world without disturbing it has profound implications. It allows us to study quantum phenomena with unprecedented accuracy, potentially leading to breakthroughs in fields such as medicine, material science, and artificial intelligence. This is just the beginning. As we continue to refine this technology, who knows what other secrets of the quantum realm we might unlock. The future of scientific exploration has never seemed brighter. A universe of possibilities quantum computing, and beyond. The implications of Google's breakthrough extend far beyond the laboratory. This isn't just about understanding the universe, it's about harnessing its power. Imagine computers capable of solving problems that would take classical computers billions of years in a matter of minutes. That's the promise of quantum computing, and Google's work brings us one step closer to making it a reality. From developing life-saving drugs to designing revolutionary materials, the potential applications are staggering. Quantum computers could accelerate drug discovery by simulating complex molecular interactions, 
or help us design materials with unprecedented properties such as superconductors that operate at room temperature. But perhaps the most exciting aspect of this technology is its potential to revolutionize our understanding of error correction. In the quantum world information is incredibly fragile, prone to errors caused by the environment. Google's processor offers a way to detect and correct these errors in real time, paving the way for more robust and reliable quantum computers. The Reality Paradox Do we create what we observe? The deeper we delve into the quantum realm, the more we encounter questions that challenge our fundamental understanding of reality. If the observer plays a role in shaping the observed, does this mean that reality is not objective but rather a subjective construct influenced by our consciousness? This isn't just a philosophical musing, it's a question with real-world implications. If our observations can influence the behavior of quantum systems, could it be that consciousness itself plays a role in shaping reality at the most fundamental level? This idea, while mind-boggling, is not entirely new. Philosophers have debated the nature of reality for centuries, but Google's work gives us a new lens through which to view this age-old question, suggesting that our consciousness may be more intertwined with the fabric of reality than we ever imagined. The Quantum Mirror Reflecting on Consciousness and the Role of the Observer As we stand on the threshold of this new quantum era, we must ask ourselves, what does it mean to be an observer in a universe where observation itself influences the observed? Does this new understanding of quantum measurement challenge our very notion of self and consciousness? Perhaps consciousness is not merely a passive observer of reality, but an active participant shaping the world around us through our thoughts, intentions, and yes, even our scientific observations. This is a profound and humbling thought, one that forces us to reconsider our place in the grand scheme of things. It suggests that we are not separate from the universe but rather deeply connected to it, our very being intertwined with the fabric of reality. Shaping tomorrow's reality, humanity, and AI in the quantum age. As we venture further into the quantum frontier, we must proceed with both excitement and caution. This technology has the potential to reshape our world in unimaginable ways, but it also raises profound ethical and philosophical questions. What role will artificial intelligence play in this new quantum era? As we develop increasingly sophisticated AI systems, will they too become conscious observers, capable of shaping reality alongside us? The future is uncertain, but one thing is clear, Humanity stands at a pivotal moment, we have the opportunity to harness the power of quantum mechanics to solve some of the world's most pressing problems, but we must do so responsibly with a deep understanding of the ethical implications of our actions. Ultimately, the future of quantum mechanics is not predetermined. It is up to us, as both observers and participants, to shape the quantum future we want to see.